And the figure above, line L intersects the x-axis at x is equal to negative 2, and the y-axis at y is equal to negative 3. If line M, not shown, passes through the origin and is perpendicular to line L, what is the slope of line M? We can figure out the slope of line L by realizing we're going to the right by 2. That means you use positive when you're doing rise over run, and we're going down by 3, that means you use negative 3. Now this is where shit gets a little confusing, because we're using m, l to indicate the slope of l. m is always used for slope. Now we're doing m, m to indicate the slope of line m. That's where line M should go because they told us it passes through the origin and it's perpendicular to line L. Now it actually doesn't matter that it's passing through the origin. The only thing that matters is that it's perpendicular. The fact that it's perpendicular means we can already tell that the slope is just going to be the negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 2. The negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 2 is positive 2 over 3.